Kovacs' last movie in 1962. No idea. Sail a Crooked Ship. Sail a Crooked Ship. Here's a real rough one. Ernie, Ernest Gold wrote the score for the movie Exodus, but who wrote the words to the song? Pat Boone. Very good. Because Pat Boone was on my show with Ernest Gold at that really? point. With, with Otto Preminger. Identify the singer who originally introduced the song Love Letters in the Sand on the radio in 1931. That could have been anybody. Could have been Morton Downey. No. Could have been Kate Smith. Pebble. Could have been uh, Russ Colombo. Could have been Rudy Valley. It was could've... Rudy Valley. Rudy, Rudy Valley was the first one. Well, that's one of those things where nobody could ever know for sure. Right. right. And Pat Boone, I believe, had the hit in the 50s. Later then. on, right. With whose band would you most closely associate singer Peggy Lee? Benny Goodman. They made Benny a lot of Goodman, great right. Famous. Here's a real tough one. Buster Crabbe is best known for his role as Flash Gordon, but who was the actor that was the original Flash Gordon on radio? On radio? That's right. I'll give you one hint. His last name is the same. Gordon. Gordon? Right. I was going Gail to say, Gordon. I was going to say Bud Collier. Gail Gordon. Gail Gordon. Famous. Later, he went on to TV fame in uh, Al Miss Brooks and Lucille Ball. A little bit of uh, ragtime fame for Mr. Ritacco and for Mr. Ornstein. And for you, I give you a young man who is winning a lot of popularity around town. He's got what, fan mail coming uh, this way asking for more of Mark Birnbaum. He's going to do something, I believe, in honor of his grandfather. And it's called, what, Henry's Rag? Henry's Rag, named for his grandfather. Uh, recorded, uh, uh, oh, this was recorded on his grandfather's 90th birthday, November 20th, 1966 or 86? Was it 86? But anyhow, he's doing it live right now, and if Grandpa is watching, this is for Henry, a little bit of Mr. Birnbaum doing Henry's Rag in Ragtime. Okay, Mark.